हाय एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल डेंटिस्ट्री टू द पॉइंट दिस इज डॉक्टर ध्रोमेल मानिक सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट फाइब्रस डिस्प्लेसिया नाउ फाइब्रस डिस्प्लेसिया बीइंग अ लीजन ऑफ फाइब्रोशियस डिसऑर्डर व्हिच इज द टॉपिक फ्रॉम दैट चैप्टर वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट बेनाइन एंड मेलिग्नेंट ट्यूमर्स बट वी हैड रिसीव्ड रिक्वेस्ट रिगार्डिंग दिस सो वी विल डिस्कस दिस फर्स्ट एंड देन अगेन रिज्यूम आवर topic so starting with fibrous dysplasia it is a skeletal developmental anomaly of bone forming mesenchyme jo bhi bone forming mesenchyme hai uski developmental anomaly hai which will manifest as kaise manifest karegi jo osteoblast ka differentiation hoga wo sahi se nahi hoga aur uske sath sath differentiation ke baad maturation bhi sahi se nahi hoga so skeletal developmental anomaly of bone forming mesenchyme that may show a defect in Osteoblast differentiation as well as maturation. I haven't written maturation, but it is osteoblast differentiation and osteoblast maturation. Now, what is the etiology or occurrence of this reason behind the fibrous dysplasia? There is mutation in the gene gene S one. Which may hoga mutation in the gene gene S one may mutation hoga. Now, this gene S one contains a protein which is known as G protein. ओके जीनस वन के जीन में म्यूटेशन हो गया नाउ दिस जीनस वन इज हैविंग जी प्रोटीन नाउ ड्यू टू दिस जी प्रोटीन एंड म्यूटेशन टुगेदर देयर विल बी ओवर प्रोडक्शन ऑफ साइक्लिक एएमपी सी बेसिकली जीनस वन एंड जी प्रोटीन विल प्रोड्यूस साइक्लिक एएमपी नॉर्मल फैशन बट ड्यू टू द म्यूटेशन द जी प्रोटीन इज गोइंग टू ओवर प्रोड्यूस द सी एएमपी दैट इज योर साइक्लिक एएमपी नाउ ड्यू टू दिस ओवर प्रोडक्शन ऑफ सी एएमपी There are going to occur three things. That is, firstly, hyperfunction of endocrine glands. जो भी आपके endocrine glands होंगे, उनका function बढ़ जाएगा. They will function more than the necessity of the body. Next, increased production of melanocytes. And third is differentiation of osteoblast is also affected. So this is the three things which are going to occur. Firstly, hyperfunction of endocrine glands. तो उसके कारण क्या होगा? Precocious puberty. Hyperthyroidism and overproduction of growth hormone and cortisol. These are the four things occurring due to hyperfunction of endocrine glands. Next is due to high overproduction of melanocytes. क्या होगा? There will be cafe outlet spots. They are the brownish spots which you also see in neurofibromatosis also. So these type of spots which are having irregular margin. We'll discuss about this in detail. But these are the spots, cafe outlet spots, which are also seen in this, and they are also mainly seen in neurofibromatosis. This is again a question from the competitive exams. Next, differentiation of osteoblast. Now, osteoblast ke differentiation me kya hoga? I told you basically this fibrous dysplasia me kya hoga? Whichever the bone is present in the medullary cavity, jo bhi medullary cavity me bone present hai, that will be replaced by a fibrous tissue. जो भी बोन था वो फाइब्रस टिश्यू से रिप्लेस हो जाएगा एंड दैट विल अंडर गो ऑशियस मेटाप्लेसिया एंड कन्वर्टेड इनटू डेंस लैमुलर बोन दैट इज अ लॉन्ग स्टोरी बट इन शॉर्ट यू जस्ट नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट द बोन इज रिप्लेस बाय फाइब्रस टिश्यू इन फाइब्रस डिस्प्लेसिया सो डिफरेंशिएशन ऑफ ऑस्टियोब्लास्ट बिकम्स डिफेक्टिव दैट व्हाई द मेडुलरी बोन इज रिप्लेस बाय फाइब्रस Tissue resulting in fibrous dysplasia. So these are the three main things occurring due to overproduction of cyclic AMP. Now there are mainly three types of fibrous dysplasia which we need to discuss. Their clinical features, their most common site. Firstly, is monostatic fibrous dysplasia. That means it occurs or affects single limb or not more than one limb. Polystatic means it occurs more than one type of bone, not one limb. Single type of bone is affected in monostatic, in polystatic. Various bones of the body are affected. Even there may be bilateral occurrence also. And lastly, the craniofacial form, which mainly affects the craniofacial region. Now, the polystatic fibrous dysplasia has again two variants. That is the Jaffe's type and the Albright's type. We will also discuss regarding this. And mostly, it is seen in first and second decade of life. What fibrous dysplasia? Mostly, most of the cases are seen in first and second decade of life, and both sexes are equally affected. There is no gender predilection regarding this. So, this was the basic introduction regarding fibrous dysplasia. Hope you guys have 
अंडरस्टूड नेक्स्ट विल डिस्कस अबाउट द क्लिनिकल फीचर्स ऑफ मोनोस्टोटिक पॉलिस्टोटिक एंड क्रेनियोफेशियल अलॉन्ग विथ रेडियोग्राफिक एंड हिस्टोलॉजिक फीचर्स सो नेक्स्ट मूविंग ऑन टू द्री टाइप्स ऑफ फाइबरस डिस्प्लेज है दैट इज द मोनोस्टोटिक पॉलिस्टोटिक एंड द क्रेनियोफेशियल टाइप्स ऑफ फर्स्ट विल स्टार्ट विद द मोनोस्टोटिक वन so these comprises of 70 to 80% of fibrous dysplasia that means 70 to 80% of fibrous dysplasia are of monostotic type 20 to 30% are of polystotic type 10 to 25% out of monostotic also show craniofacial abnormalities and 50% of polystotic also show craniofacial abnormalities so this is clear 70 to 80 20 to 30 और इसमें 10 टू 25 ऑफ दिस 70 टू 80 शो क्रेनियोफेशियल एंड 50 ऑफ दिस 20 टू 30 शो क्रेनियोफेशियल नाउ नेक्स्ट मोनोस्टोटिक फाइबर्स डिस्प्लेज व्हिच आर द मोस्ट कॉमन इन्वॉल्व्ड बोन्स इन डिक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर वी आर गोइंग टू सी दिस इन डिक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर दैट मींस द रिब्स आर द फर्स्ट एंड द मैक्सिमम इन्वॉल्व्ड देन वी हैव फीमर टीबिया क्रेनियोफेशियल बोन्स एंड ह्यूमरस क्या क्या है रिब फीमर टीबिया क्रेनियोफेशियल बोन्स एंड ह्यूमरस इन पॉलिस्टोटिक फॉर्म वी हैव फीमर टीबिया पेल्विस रिब स्कल फेशियल बोन अपर लिम लंबर स्पाइन क्लेविकल एंड सर्वाइकल स्पाइन एंड रिपीट दिस वन सेकेंड कौन कौन सी है फीमर टीबिया पेल्विस रिब स्कल फेशियल बोन्स अपर लिम लंबर स्पाइन क्लेविकल एंड सर्वाइकल Fine. Pain and pathologic fracture are going to be the most common signs. The patient is going to experience some amount of pain also. Along with that, the bone or the structural integrity is going to become so much weak that there are chances of pathological fracture of bone also. Next, in polystotic form, it may be unilateral or bilateral. That means it may affect several bones of a single limb or it may affect both the लिम्स या तो एक ही हाथ के बहुत सारे बोन्स को या पैर को इन्वॉल्व करे हुए या तो इट कैन इन्वॉल्व ऑफ बोथ द साइड्स बोथ द साइड्स ओके सो दिस वाज अबाउट मोनोस्टोटिक एंड पॉलिस्टोटिक फॉर्म नाउ द पॉलिस्टोटिक फॉर्म द लोअर लिम्ब इफ इट इज इन्वॉल्व इन द पॉलिस्टोटिक फाइबर्स डिस्प्लेज इट विल शो ए शेफर्ड क्रूक्स डिफॉर्मिटी कौन सी डिफॉर्मिटी है शेफर्ड क्रूक्स डिफॉर्मिटी दैट मीन्स इट इज मेनली सीन इन फीमर so the neck of the femur and the shaft of the femur which is there there will be some amount of curvature ideally ideally agar dekha jaye to neck of the femur or shaft mein ek curvature rehta hai so like this it is going the neck is going to be like this and then you will have shaft so this is going to be attached to your leg like this to so, ye jo curvature hai femur ka that curvature is going to remarkably increase that increase in curvature is going to show a shepherd crooks deformity that means Shepherd crook deformity is like nothing. It is just an increase in the curvature of neck and shaft of the femur. Along with that, जो भी weight bearing bones होंगे, that means जो भी bones पे weight ज़्यादा पड़ेगा, there will be bowing of the those bones. जो भी bones रहेगी, there will be bowing of those bones. That means they are going to become bow shaped. So next, there are two types of polystotic fibrous dysplasia. That is the Jaffe's type and the एलब्राइट टाइप कौन कौन से जैफेज एंड एलब्राइट नो जैफेज टाइप इज गोइंग टू हैव पॉलिस्टोटिक फाइबर डिस्प्लेजिया ऑल द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ पॉलिस्टोटिक फाइबर डिस्प्लेजिया अलॉन्ग विद कैफे आउटलेट स्पॉट एंड एलब्राइट टाइप और यू कैन ऑल्सो से एलब्राइट सिंड्रोम इट कंटेन्स पॉलिस्टोटिक फाइबर डिस्प्लेजिया कैफे आउटलेट स्पॉट एंड अलॉन्ग विद दैट एंडोक्राइनल डिसऑर्डर आर ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट इन दिस सो दीज आर द टू टाइप्स ऑफ पॉलिस्टोटिक फाइबर Displacer. Now Now we we'll discuss about the cafe cafe spots. Now, these cafe spots these are also also seen in neurofibromatosis, or you can also say von Reckling Hausen's disease. This is an MCQ question from the competitive exams. You might be asked in that neuro cafe ओलेट spots are seen in which of the following? So the cafe ओलेट spots present in neurofibromatosis are having smooth borders, but The cafe ovulate spots present in fibrous displays are having irregular or jagged borders. So this is the main difference between the cafe ovulate spots of neurofibromatosis and fibrous displays. Now next moving to a last category that is craniofacial form. 
Now the craniofacial form is going to have 10 to 25 percent of monostatic, 50 percent of polystatic. It mainly involves the maxilla, frontal, sphenoid, and ethmoid bones. Temporal and occipital bones are rarely involved. The if orbital and periorbital bones are involved, just consider a case in which orbital or periorbital bones are involved. Then the patient may show signs of hypertelorism. Exophthalmos, blindness, or visual impairment. If sphenoid and temporal bones are involved, then hearing loss, vestibular dysfunction, or tinnitus may be seen. If cribriform plate is involved, then patient may show hyposomia or ensomia. In the similar way, even maxilla and mandible are also involved in some of the cases. Now, if maxilla is involved, again the patient may show. Signs of exophthalmos or proptosis or nasal obstruction, you can say. And if mandible is involved, then also there are signs of expansion of cortical plates of bone. There is displacement of teeth also. So these are going to be the signs of craniofacial dis uh, fibrous dysplasia. I hope so. This is clear. All the clinical features and types of fibrous dysplasia.